Hey, Dallas here with Simple Shipping Containers. I kind of wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look at the operation here. We're located in Wichita, Kansas, and we have about 14 acres total right on the highway. The main east-west highway in Wichita is called Kellogg or US 54. And we're on the west side of town. So we like this location. It's on the west side of town. I live on the west side as well. Uh, but it gives us access to a lot of traffic count driving by a lot of drive-by business and i'd say the majority of the rest of our business comes from online and word of mouth and wichita is a very entrepreneurial town and word of mouth is very important so we try our best to take care of the customer and they spread the word for you so starting over here by the building we've got about a 5,000 foot warehouse built here. I would call this phase one because COVID hit when we were building it and we kind of paused on the second phase, which is where I'm standing. And now we need it, but interest rates have moved up. So we're kind of debating what to do at this point. I think we might build something actually out of containers. So stack some 40 foot containers up on each end and then put a roof over it. So Right now, this lot where the new building would go, it's all graded and we've got utilities over here. Uh, we use this as a modification lot because we've got flat ground and we've got power over. And here's the modification lot. So you can see I've got a bunch of these open side 20 foot. These are for our rental fleet containers. We've got a 53 foot chassis here. The, this uh, 53 foot mobile boiler is going on that chassis. So we need to get that on there, but that 53 foot container is heavy. So we're gonna have to get both Komatsu loaders over here and get that thing loaded on. Uh, we've got a 20 foot over here. It's getting ready to go to a customer. So we get some of the delivery containers over here in this lot as well. And then we have some 10 footers behind that 20 foot. Uh, we'll go check out these 10 footers here in a minute. This is one of my rental boxes here. I special order these from Shanghai in the slate gray color with my logo on them. This is a this is an open side container I can tell because the bottom is a little bit beefier. There's the end of it there. So I get these ladders welded on at the factory. And there's the open side of it. So let's walk over here. This is our next 53 foot project. It's not painted yet. We gotta get the floor out, get all the frames welded in and, and cut. So here's one of these 10 footers we just wrapped up with. So these 10 footers are pretty interesting. I'll do a video on this, but these 10 footers come as a 20 foot. It's called a duo con. And what you do is cut it in half and they send you the back walls for it and you weld the back walls in. So we'll jump in here and take a look. So after we cut this in half, we welded this back wall in, a lot of cutting and grinding, paint, uh, ceiling, all kinds of stuff. It's quite a bit of work. So your 10 foot containers are not cheap. I don't think they ever will be because um, China is not going to ship 10 footers over here. There's no freight that's going to go inside of a 10 foot. So this is the back of it finished up here. So this is what we did. Uh, we got some more 20 foot open side over there. So like I said, this is kind of our modification lot flat ground. I think we're going to move our, our uh, office over here and we'll do more in depth uh, view of things later. We've actually got Here's a garage we just built. I'm going to store one of my vehicles in this garage and this garage will be kind of a model. So I'm gonna try not to sell it. We've got this bolted together. And this has got an insulated flush panel, flush panel door. Um, so this one's pretty much set up. When you're putting these garages on rocks, you've gotta make sure you clear all the rocks out in between. We've got a used 40 foot here loaded on the truck, getting ready to go out. Here's another little model container that we have. It's got a door and window in it and it's got some of our shelves in it so customers can kind of see what we can do. Some of our products there. These are some military containers I got from Fort Riley, which is in up by Manhattan, Kansas, where K-State is. And here's our line of 20s. So there's the main highway out there. Here's our line of 20s. We kind of keep our different stuff up here not just all ivory boxes which are your most common we got the camouflage we got an open side 20 here blue there's an ivory container there's another camouflage 
So you can see going west here, we've got 20s lined up and then new 40s. And I try to keep all the new containers by the road so it looks a little neater. And then here's the upper part of the lot. We've got some new 20s back here and we angle these so that we can get the Komatsu loader in on the side of them. Uh, we don't have a container stacker, don't really want one. We go off-roading over here and a Komatsu works well for us and we can do dirt work with it as well. So we got some new 20s over here and then most of our used 20s are back behind this used 40 right here. This 40 came in yesterday and got put there because we're kind of full up over to the west. And there's the loader. So we had to build forks to put on that loader, um, but it's got the JRB quick attach. So you can switch between the forks and the bucket. Here's a 20 foot concession stand I've done a video on. Uh, we're waiting to deliver this up to Northern Kansas. So it's sitting here and there, there's our office there. So we office have a 20 foot container. We need a 40 foot, but we've been busy with customer projects. So anything for, for us, gets put on hold so we'll walk west here and look at some more of these containers like i said we've got about 14 acres total we've probably graded half of it and rock is expensive a truckload of rock really doesn't go anywhere and so we've probably had 30 40 50 truckloads of rock hauled in here it's never enough and as we grade more land, bringing the rock in, it rains, uh, you've got to compact it. So it's like never ending work and money. Um, so I will flip here and we'll get a look at all the containers here as we head west. So we've got a few more 20s stacked up over here. There's a couple more of my rental boxes. It's a 20 foot open side. There's a 20 foot with an eight foot clear view door in it. Here's a 20 foot slate. That's a for sale box. So your slate containers run a little bit more than your ivory another ivory so along here we've got all of our 40s these are all high cubes and we keep all these angled and then that way we can get in the fork pockets here on the side a couple more 20s so next phase is take this tree out bring in some fill dirt and get rid of this little uh difference in the ground over here can't really see it right now we need to bring a bunch of dirt in so here's our used 40s uh, two of them just went out. He's got one on his truck now. And we've started stacking some uh, rental boxes and excess overflow back there in the back of the lot. This lot's about 500 feet deep total. So here's some more used 40s along the north side here. And on the south side, we've got new 40s. So we've got these separated this wide so we can get the loader in through here and the truck can also we don't have to use the loader to load the truck the truck can pull up underneath the front of these containers and stab it and get underneath it so typically when we offload these 40s we block them up for the delivery drivers you can see all these are blocked up here and then here's a west driveway we've got a sign here uh, we ordered this sign a couple years ago. It took forever to get installed. We're not happy with it. Um, I would probably do LED if I had to do it over at this point. Uh, we've got more of my 40 foot rental boxes here. Got these kind of stacked up and then we've got more of my 40 foot rental boxes back here to the west. So you can see here we've got more space that we need to develop and grade. Uh, we've got a lot of the trees taken out. This was 100% covered with trees. So I rented one of those skid steers with the mulcher on front. It was a Cat 299. And the Cat 299 is like 100, uh, 105, 110 horsepower um, with the mulcher on front. And we went to town with that thing for about a week, mulching trees. And I mean, trees up to 10 inches thick, it just was ripping right through them. But the first machine I had was like an 85 horse machine with the mulcher on front and it really couldn't get the job done. So if you rent one of those mulchers, make sure you get the higher horsepower skid steer with it. So I think that's it for now. We'll go into more details on the office at some point. It's solar powered and then we'll take a tour of the building. Um, but that's it for now. So give us a like and follow.